Hey everyone, Charles from Juno here. Great to be back in the studio again. Today, we're going to be diving into the often perplexing world of wavetable synthesis with the brand new Korg ModWave Wavetable Synthesizer. Wavetable synths are responsible for creating some of the most recognizable sounds in electronic music, from the iconic textures of Tangerine Dreams to the more intense growling basses of Skrillex. But what even is a wavetable synth, and how does it work? Well, that's what we're going to be looking at today using the brand new Korg Mod Wave. Let's dive in. During the birth and boom of early electronic music, synthesizers were fairly limited by the scope of their oscillators, which often only featured a limited range of waveforms to choose from. In the late 1970s, Wolfgang Palm sought to expand that limitation using digital oscillators to create a new form of synthesis. He designed a new type of digital oscillator that incorporated multiple differing waveforms that were stored within data tables. Each oscillator therefore had access to a much wider range of timbres, especially when the waveforms were modulated and combined. In 1982, his company PPG released the Wave 2, one of the first wavetable synthesizers which combined analog filters with digital wavetable oscillators, providing a whole new world of timbral possibility. But what does that actually look like? So the idea is simple. We have a digital oscillator that stores the data of multiple different waveforms. Let's visualize it. Let's start with a simple triangle wave. Now, as I move through the wavetable, you can see the waveform begin to change and the timbre gradually shift. If I begin to apply an LFO to the oscillator's wavetable position, you can see the waveform rapidly morph between one waveform and another, creating a harmonically rich and complex sound. If I begin to include other waveforms in my wavetable, you can really start to hear how many possibilities there are for creating new timbres by shifting between waveforms. But we can take this even further with the Korg Mod Wave. Let's take a look. The Korg Mod Wave is a compact synthesis powerhouse that combines distinctive wavetable timbres with Korg's unique chaos physics and motion sequencing. The Mod Wave builds on the legacy of the Korg DW8000, transforming the cult classic into a powerful modern synth with incredibly deep wavetable oscillators. The Mod Wave features two digital wavetable oscillators, a sub noise oscillator, 12 different types of filter, multiple LFOs, an onboard step sequencer, multi effects engine, and tons more. But first, let's dive into ModWave's powerful wavetable oscillators. Well, the ModWave, to no surprise given its title, has a ton of options for modulation. First, let's look at the LFOs. There are independent LFOs for Oscillator 1 and Oscillator 2's morph controls. Let's apply an LFO to the morph of Oscillator 1. Now, let's apply a second LFO with a different waveform and rate to Oscillator 2's morph control. Using the LFOs in this way allows us to create moving harmonic texture, especially when combined with the position and blend controls. But the Mod Wave has more to offer. So the Mod Wave has what's called a Chaos Physics Engine, which is as insane as it sounds. It models a ball rolling on a surface and or bouncing off walls. I know this sounds a bit crazy, so let me demonstrate. First, let's set a modulation source for the Oscillator 1 position control by opening the modulation page, moving my target knob, and then adjusting my modulation source. 
So now we've selected the x-axis of the chaos pad as our modulation source. Now, let me set oscillator 2's position control to be modulated by the y-axis. Now, if I come over to the chaos view, you can see this xy graph that represents the chaos's 2D space. If I flick my finger across the surface, you can see a virtual ball is produced that bounces around the space. If I play a note, you can hear the ball's X and Y position are affecting Oscillator 1 and Oscillator 2's wavetable position. The Chaos Engine has a ton of different settings for affecting the physical rules of the 2D space. Changing the rules of the Chaos's space allows you to create some really unpredictable movement paths. This is such a dynamic way to create wavetable movement. But how does it actually sound in context? Let's start with this woggly preset lead. I'm going to have no modulation applied, so we just have the pure oscillators being processed by the MS-20 low-pass filter and multi-effects engine. So I've mapped in the modulation matrix for the oscillator LFOs to control both oscillator 1 and 2's wavetable position. I've then mapped the intensity of this to mod knob 1, so I can easily control how much they're affecting the oscillators. This preset also has modulation set for the chaos pad to affect the LFO frequency and AB blend of the oscillators, giving us a rich, moving harmonic sound when I switch it on. This is sounding really powerful and it's certainly putting those wavetables to good use. But I think the mod wave can do even more. Mod wave's incredible depth allows you to combine oscillators in really powerful ways. Here I've got the biggerish preset loaded. One of the oscillators has a sine wave loaded, which is being modulated by the sequencer to create a kick. Meanwhile, the noise oscillator is also being modulated by the sequencer to create a rapid hi-hat. So far, we're only using the B-layer oscillators and the sub-noise oscillator. Let's add some of those layer A oscillators to add some bass and build this sound up before switching on the chaos pad, which has a really dynamic physics path set using its 3D bump algorithm.
So wavetable synthesis can offer us a dizzying array of possibilities in shaping the sound of our oscillators, allowing us to discover new timbral territory. The Korg ModWave takes this to a whole new level with an incredibly deep wavetable engine that can be easily modulated by the powerful dynamic Chaos Physics engine. We haven't even begun to dive into ModWave's motion sequencer, effects engine and setlist features. There's just so much to unpack with this synth. Make sure to subscribe to stay in the loop and we'll see you next time.